Hey, Cami Edelson here with the Stern team to talk to you a little bit about how to write an offer that gets accepted. Though the market has cooled a little bit and inventory is down, we want to keep in mind that we can still have the potential of running into multiple offer situations. So we want to make sure that we're prepped and ready for the market. Preparation is key when we're out writing offers. So we want to make sure that you are prepared for the market. So one of the things that we can do for that is definitely having a little extra cushion in our savings. So we want to make sure that you have saved and are ready to go when we're ready to write offers. This not only gives the sellers the opportunity to see that you're prepped and ready and you can get your deal to the closing table, but it also gives us a little bit of wiggle room when we're negotiating, especially if we're going to be in a multiple offer situation. And then there's always things that can come up during the transaction, like perhaps the appraisal doesn't come in right where we've offered our price at, so that we have that cash in hand to maybe cover that gap. After we have saved our money, we want to make sure that we have talked to a reputable lender and that we have a pre-approval. We want to make sure that we have that in hand and ready to go so that as we're writing offers, the seller again knows that we are ready to make that purchase, that we can get to the closing table. Because without that in hand, we may lose out to another buyer that already has that information. And then we also want to make sure we're shopping at the right price point for you. We don't want to do an injustice and be shopping over your value or shopping too low of what you can afford and what you're comfortable with. So we want to make sure that we have that pre-approval and the lender in hand ready to go. When we're ready to write the offer, we want to make sure we've talked about what our budget is and what our plan is because we don't want to go all in on our offer and then not have any wiggle room to negotiate or counter offer back. And then we don't want to go too low and run the risk of offending the seller as well. So we want to make sure we talk about that and that we have a good plan in place so that when we're ready to write offers, we wait to write a good, strong offer that the sellers are willing to accept. All right, if you have any questions, anything further that you want to know about, give us a call, text, or email us. We're happy to chat with you and talk to you a little bit about the buying process and where you are and if you're ready to go.